I don't think people understand how common transactional sex is. Not everybody does it, of course. There are other ways in, but it's kind of the norm in that world. Sar Experience. Privyat Zadesi, so welcome to Odessa Mama on an absolutely fantastic Indian summer's evening. I had originally shot this video and then I found out there's a problem with the audio because my lavalier mic wasn't working, so I'm on this handheld to reshoot it, unfortunately. And actually it was a week ago when I shot it, and I thought that's the end of summer here, but it's at the it's now the end of October and we have this incredible incredible sunshine and I'm down by the port in Odessa in Ukraine and that's connected to the theme of today's video because I want you to be able to recognize former yacht girls and why am I doing this video I'm doing this video because when I do consulting with guys who are interested in coming here to Eastern Europe and dating beautiful women quite often they've already been speaking to some woman from the region online and they have a few questions about her past can they really trust her and then normally I take a look at their social media or whatever you know the messages or any other information that they have and a form of assessment what I think about them whether they've been honest whether they've been sincere about who they are what they've been doing and yacht curls are just a small example of some of the dodgy things that go on now you just heard Aya Rati like she goes by the pseudonym Anna Bay, that's her marketing, and she is a great example of the kind of woman that you want to avoid. In general, I've done some other videos reacting to her videos. You can check them out above in the cards down below in the description. If you haven't seen those. Now, the reason why she's a great example is because of, well, the duplicity. First of all, she doesn't go by her own name on the internet and that's because well if you started to google and check out her pause you'll find a lot of things that just raise a lot of red flags the purpose of this video is not to slut shame women who do any of these things really i don't care and you know it's a free world to go and do what you want in general the real as I said, the reason to do it is so that you understand exactly so that you are not fooled by women like Aya Rati First of all, Google <laughs> Google the girl and find out her real name, first of all, because actually on the previous videos, a lot of her followers who are very passionate tell me, you know, I shouldn't criticize Anna and she's an amazing Swedish woman and blah, 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 blah. They just Google her name. They know where she was actually from originally and why she tries to cover up that past. She actually had other pseudonyms like Aya Darling, which again, dodgy names. Can you become too old to jet set with the rich? What is the expiration age for a woman? What happens to the girls after their expiration age? Most jet set babes, however, they will be on the mission because majority of the girls, they do want to get the ring and majority of the girls also want to have a family perhaps one day so everybody wants to find the happy family life with the perfect rich man and that is of course a big challenge in her uh, video she outlines that she worked as a yacht girl so she was been flown in basically to uh, in her case she talks about Ibiza um, for a lot of girls from the former Soviet Union, Ukraine, Russia and Belarus, it doesn't tend actually to be really uh, Ibiza necessarily. They tend to go to the Middle East a lot. And basically she said she was living this high life, uh, but she doesn't really explain the background to it, to her following exactly what's going on. It might seem very glamorous when they do those Instagram photos. Another thing I'm often asked to investigate uh, on behalf of consulting clients is uh, she has all these photos. She claims to be a model. So it's the classic, but there's no real modeling photos. So I'm going to read you out actually an article in Cosmopolitan magazine a little bit later on in this video, which is really illustrated what actually being a yacht girl often entails. And just to be clear, I'm not talking about some girl who goes to the Middle East uh, with a boyfriend but doesn't post him because he's a secret sponsor kind of guy. That's a that's obviously a bit different to what I mean here. More typically what you see and I've seen before and I've looked for clients is um, lots of photos from expensive locations on a yacht. The guy owns is not there. You can hear different voices in the background because <laughs> you got the guy to film it and it's never the same guy and it looks like a party that she's flown in for and I understand just how these things work quite often uh, but I'll read the Cosmopolitan magazine first of all and before some moron in the comments writes about 
um, that, yes, Connor, I've seen you on yachts, you have yacht girls. I, it's nothing to do with the yacht per se. <laughs> the yachts are cool, actually. If I know the weather is going to be so good today and I might do it tomorrow, I see the forecast is also great. I might even go out on a yacht here in the Black Sea myself and invite a few friends, some girlfriends, and we're going to have a party and have a lot of fun. It's not that they're on a yacht per se. It's the fact that they're flown in, paid to be there, and then what goes on in exchange for that payment is what should have you concerned if you end up in a, a long-term relationship with such a, such a girl. And... As uh, Ayorati was saying in the beginning, they really want to nail down the guy, right? So they're going to, especially when they are about to hit the wall, so their career as a yacht girl ends, maybe late 20s, and they basically have to nail down a guy for resources or just to have a family with, and they're not going to tell you what, they're, what they were up to in the past, so this is the reason to do it. And also, I'm not hating on the guys, obviously, who throw these kind of parties we're going to earlier. I mean, as long as the girls are voluntary there, you know, it's a free world. Although a lot of it, I'm sure it's not legal under the local laws that they're operating. So what you're looking for, what we're referring to more is girls been flown in for payment uh, to hang out in yachts with a bunch of guys and do a lot of things with them. And we're going to go into that in this video. And also, I'm not saying that if you meet a girl who's been doing this, they should immediately discard it. Quite often, these girls are a lot of fun to be around and because um, they have high energy. They're basically entertainers of sorts, you could say. So definitely hanging out and fun with them can be cool for a short period. But, you know, if you're going to have a long-term relationship, you want to understand who you're getting into that relationship with, especially if you're going to have kids and a family with them later. So that's the, the purpose of this video. So let me go and just take a look at the Cosmopolitan, Cosmopolitan article. Cosmopolitan, Cosmo, as it's shortened to, is, um, is a classic, I guess, um, women's magazine. So let me close. They, they call her Anna Bay in the article. They, I mean, they just went with her pseudonym. Her real name is Aya Rati, allegedly. <laughs> Having looked online and found where it's revealed and seen the photos of her from 10 years ago. Um, yeah, and why she had to probably didn't want people to, to Google and find those <laughs> when she was using her real name or another pseudonym, Aya Darling. She was actually born in Estonia, just to bring obviously the nexus with women in Eastern Europe. And um, she actually sent one of her videos that her father was Finnish. She has this Finnish last name. It's probably an Ingurian Finn, so they were deported by Stalin to Estonia. Make a lot of sense. But basically, she was born in the Soviet Union. Appears to have grown up with her Russian-speaking mother in uh, in Sweden, I actually found she actually has a YouTube channel. Looks like her mother for a, as a lawyer because she went to study law afterwards, and um, yeah, she has a lot of stuff in Russian. So obviously, she was familiar with the whole Russian culture when she was growing up. So let me just read the first quote from the Cosmopolitan magazine: "The easiest way to achieve an elite lifestyle is through a man." Shrugs Anna. So, Ayarati. I don't think people understand how common transactional sex is. Not everybody does it, of course. There are other ways in, but it's kind of the norm in that world, right? So just imagine she's talking about being, I mean, she classified, she actually um, used the, the, the slogan and uh, had a website called Jet Set Babe. So she was trying to present being a Jet Set Babe, like high level babe, been, been flown, I guess, hanging out in high level circles. Uh, I actually looked it up, she doesn't own the trademark, that's actually owned by a man, but that's a, that's not really of interest to us in this uh, video, but a bit strange that to start with. And when she says that casually, let me go in down further. So there you understand that she definitely views sex as transactional so that she is getting um, something in return financially, obviously, in, uh, in this case for being flown in. Um, quite often it's going to be to, I mean, she says Ibiza, um, very typical is to be flown in somewhere like Monaco or to uh, obviously Middle East like Dubai, another classic location for this kind of stuff. So whatever that can be for that transaction in terms of making money. Uh, let me read you actually something that's quite typical that happens on these uh, yachts, we'll say, if the girls are flowing in. It's quite typical. Uh, it's also from the Cosmopolitan article. And it's not actually uh, Aya Rati that they, um, they quote on this, they quote another girl, but they actually juxtaposed it with her, which I found quite interesting what they were trying to apply, Cosmo magazine. Let me sure that's still on me, that camera. So one woman who has lived and breathed the uh, competitive paid to party scene herself is Valentina, a 25 year old model and a friend of Mariana's. Mariana's apparently also so quoted in this article. Two years ago on a night out in Cannes, a man approached her and explained his boss was interested in spending 
time with her. Um, he wanted us to party with him, offered my friends and I 4,800 euros, spend the night and morning on his yacht. When she arrived, the party featuring more women than men was in full swing. No problem with more women than men on a, on a boat party, bring it on. Uh, we stayed on deck until sunrise. Sometimes people from other yachts would join and vice versa. Drugs and alcohol flowed and all the girls on board had sex. So we had more than one man. I had sex with two guys, a director's assistant and a publicist. The former gave me his number and eventually did offer me a few gigs in Budapest. Most of the girls were sleeping with men at least 10 years their senior. Some were so scarily drunk they passed out or did things they wouldn't normally and wouldn't consent to in their normal lives, like threesomes and or anal, they'd get extra gifts for doing this stuff from cash to job offers. So there you see, it's just pure prostitution. Um, of course, not presented like that on their Instagram. <laughs> That's what they're doing. They'll leave those parts out. They're not filming that. Well, maybe they even are because a lot of it is actually connected uh, sometimes to pornography as well. Soft porn a lot. You see that, uh, seeing that recorded and actually <laughs> on the uh, websites of uh, guys who organize this uh, in general so they can also be lured into that uh, that's obviously not very discreet because you can find that afterwards who'd be crazy enough to do it okay some girls free world of course to do it but there you see basically that they're paid to be on the yacht and obviously to have sex and there's a lot of drugs uh with whatever guys happen to be there because getting paid four thousand eight hundred yours to pair them to be there you know when i look at the instagram it doesn't mean that all the girls are like this of course um but you can see a lot of dodgy things going on and i can just recognize normally the telltale sales that eh, something's not right there are enough red flags and i do that for my consulting uh clients so the next line actually in the cosmo article obviously i'm going to link this below as well i was offered money to go on the same yacht party as valentina but i declined the guys passed around the girls like merch she says uh, but you'd look at the pictures that were posted and wish you were there. That was the point I wanted to make, basically that they have this public facade to also uh, not just fool you, but of course also to fool their friends back home that they're not up to no good in places like Dubai or, you know, El Monaco or, yeah, it can be in lots of different places. Maldives as well is another popular one at the moment. So just remember that Eastern European women like Aya, a darling or Ayo Arati and Obey as she goes by on the internet, they're basically looking for a rich simp after they've finished their yacht girl career, right? Some guy who's just gonna buy into their narrative that they're a good girl. Um, you know, I've had girls tell me lots of stories like they work at Google. <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny, I guess a lot of guys don't question what they're doing, uh, especially with the claim to be something quite intellectual in the country that they're in and they're obviously not that. Uh, smart or they just don't work in that industry you can tell from their their behavior and what the way they speak and whatnot uh, but they're gonna trying to sell you a bridge the Brooklyn bridge if you're not careful and that of course is something that I can help you with um, you can reach out to me if you want that kind of consulting advice my email is connorkline at zaraexperience.com and you can reach out to me on Instagram my handle is zaraexperience and you should go anyways and Follow me on Instagram if you want to see what it's like here on a daily basis in Eastern Europe, in Ukraine at the moment, because obviously it's 2020 and we have this, uh, some quarantine restrictions. The borders are open, uh, but basically I'm actually going to be in Ukraine for the next little while. Going to live a large here in Ukraine. You can follow that every day. So what my consulting clients are generally trying to avoid when they reach out to me is that they turn a hole into a housewife. Now, I'm not shaming women who are sex workers or whatnot. Of course, though, you probably want to know that before you decide to end up in a long-term relationship with someone because they see when they finish this career, yeah, they need to find a rich simp. At least that's what Ayarati recommends to her uh, followers. That's just to be a really super rich guy. She points out that they can nail down and basically make pay for their child and whatnot. Uh, remember here, I have another vodcast about the divorce rate in East Europe. Don't be naive. It is even higher than in the West. I'll link it up above and below divorce rate is 60% and most of those uh, divorces are initiated by women so just make sure that you know what you're doing and definitely if you have some doubts in your head normally guys approach, who reach out to me they do have those and I can of course go through it and help you out also got a lot of great stuff and just another note about simps so simp behavior I also have another vocals on that if you haven't seen it link it up above and below as well just think about why wouldn't someone like Aya Ratirana Bay B digging for gold. Right? The only reason a gold digger can dig gold is if they find a simp, a guy who's willing to give away his power, pedestalize a woman, 
put her up there and just try to do everything for her without setting any boundaries. That is the perfect kind of guy that she is looking for because also those kind of guys will believe any sort of story that she tells them about what she was doing in the past. She was part of high society, the jet set babe, because what? Why would someone be inviting her along and paying her and flying her in uh, for just to sit there and have an intellectual conversation? Maybe, maybe, but you know, be careful of believing those kind of stories. She also talks about in the Cosmo article, link below, about other stuff that went on that actually scared her because basically she was, she claims she got, she was, uh, her drink was spiked and she woke up in a strange place and whatnot. So basically, put herself in a lot of dodgy situations, chasing that, that, that dollar, right? Whatever it takes. So definitely, you want to avoid those kind of women if you don't want to end up with a former young girl don't buy into their story don't be fooled by them so let me end this vodka vodka statement just pointing out if you want to come here and um you know as opposed to have the experience of the girls flown in as young girls in whatever happens to be come here we can head out on the yacht ourselves me and you probably some good buddies of mine and of course some local hotties who are not flown in who are not there who are not paid uh, obviously to uh, service you in that kind of way and we can go out and just have an absolute blast. Uh, realistically, as the sun goes down here, it's actually like a metaphor for the end of the summer. Uh, that kind of yacht scene we can do in 2021 also with the travel restrictions hopefully it'll be over. And I will be focusing definitely when we get the weather again on having just absolutely top personal experiences for my in-person clients i'm going to just link down below as always there's always my application form down there if you think you're the kind of person who can live suitable to live this is our experience so basically uh you're probably not into falling for ayorati's long stories about what she was doing in the past you want to come here and actually live it up and avoid the scammers and all that kind of stuff not have to worry about speaking russian or anything because i got your back cover and we're going to go out and absolutely have a phenomenal unforgettable weekend together and if it's here in your desk also include a yacht party ourselves <laughs> with girls who i won't describe as yacht girls they're gonna be local hotties from here want to just come and meet interesting guys like you not because they're paid to show up anyways i'm rambling on and that sunlight is about to disappear i will do Tomorrow it's actually going to be very good weather again, so I'm going to do another video, another vodcast before we close out the summer here in Odessa, and I'm going to actually travel a little bit around Ukraine. See you very soon in the next video. Dobobachna, desvedanya, do strechi from Odessa, Ukraine. Sar Experience.